<laughs> he looks sort of lying in fertile. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs>
or well, I, there are actually two if I remember correctly, but anyways, that's one point. And then there's other also, another thing that this is probably the biggest criticism anyone had about Fredo would be that the overuse of the power of friendship, which honestly is something I really disagree with since a lot of other shonen anime don't do that as well and Fairy Hill actually does not really do uh, carry that out in a much different way than they do and in my personal opinion it does it even better since Fairy Hill's power system does revolve around emotion that's how magic in Fairy Hill does work according to Fairy Hill Zero but anyways yeah Fairy Hill is what Fairy Hill gets criticized for is something that a lot of other shonens do as well one thing I will say though another thing is that Fairy Hill is also slightly different from shows like One Piece and Naruto in the sense that it's a Kodansha shounen and not a Shueisha shounen. It's published by a Kodansha magazine and not a shounen magazine. Uh, sorry, a Shueisha magazine, yeah. So the problem of the matter is that Kodansha magazines are less down to earth in contrast to Shueisha magazines. So that's something to keep in mind while judging Fairy Hill. <laughs> so yeah, Fairy Hill is a pretty decent shounen as well. So, regardless of that though, another f another problem about Fairy Hill is the, pr it's the fact that people complain a lot about fan service. Well, another thing is that, well, is it really that much though? Not really in my personal opinion, nah. And not to mention the fact that a lot of other anime have a lot of fan service as well. So yeah, that's one other thing about that. One thing I will also say though that is that Fairy Hill does sh also shift its vibe from going to a more jollier vibe in the first few episodes to more serious arcs. So that's something to keep in mind. I personally like this change, but that's something it gets criticized for. But regardless, another criticism people have about Fairy Hill is that Fairy Hill characters don't really get development at all. Yay! Which is literally untrue, and there are plenty of characters in Fairy Hill that get a lot of development. N to name a few, there's obviously Grey and his development comes around the first few arcs. I'm not gonna spoil much, but yeah, basically, Grey's past is revealed and how he, how why he became how he is now, and then in the future, Grey evolves even more. And then there's also Zeref, who is a great villain, and Zeref's early motivations are really understandable, and why he is where he is, where he is now. That's really something that really makes a lot of sense, and his development is shown throughout the series as well. And the funny thing is, then there's also Jal Jalal, who is probably everyone's favorite character, and his development is really the most obvious one. And well, Jalal's development is really great to watch. He goes from being a villain to a hero, and it is revealed that he is he was a good guy, and he was just being mind controlled, so he has to make up for his past sins. So yeah, and the thing is that this really applies to all fairy tale characters, literally. Well, maybe in my personal opinion, with the exception of Natsu and Urza, but hey, some people will argue even against that. But yeah, that does apply to the entire cast of Fairy Tail, in my personal opinion. So yeah, the criticism Fairy Tail gets is not really worth it. So at the end of the day, I will say that Fairy Tail and Online, Sword Online, are really great series, and they don't really deserve the criticism that they get. So yeah. That's all I have to say about those series, and and I'll, I'll also say that, per, this has to be said honestly at this point, just because you don't like something, you should not really go ahead and bash others for liking it. So for example, if you don't like Sword Online and Fredo, you shouldn't really enforce your opinion on to others since you're probably just pairing someone else in the first place, and a lot of the time when people start a new anime, they enter with the predisposition that they must hate on it for the sake of hating on it which really warps your perception of the show. So yeah, try to keep your mind clear while judging the shows and don't really enforce other p your opinion on other people and try to accept their viewpoints. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers gamers, take care.